Hey everybody! How are you? I'm just going to curl up with my blanket because it is freezing in Iowa right now. Oh my gosh. Oh. So far today it has snowed, sleeted, freezing rained, hailed, and regular rained. And that's just been like, I don't know, since 10 o'clock or so. <laughs> There could have been lightning and thunder, but I'm not positive. Anyway, I gotta get my Stampin' Lips on. I'm very excited about today's cards. So I hope you guys are excited too. Hello everybody. Hi Carmen and Jenny and Mary and Tanya and I think I saw Kelly on there and Sandy. Are you getting cold weather Sandy? Hi Beverly and Joyce. It's lovely to see you guys. I am so cold. It's in I think, so it's been like 50s and 60s here the last several days, and then it's, well, and it's been windy, so it hasn't really felt that warm, but it's been so cold and wet and just raw cold today that I'm kind of dying, and I went out to uh, have a birthday lunch with one of my really good friends, Julie. Today's her birthday, so um, only the really dumb people came out today, which would be us. I shouldn't say dumb because we're not dumb. We're just committed. <laughs> and so it was wonderful because there was plenty of parking and it was great. But so I have to give you guys the update on my sweet little daughter. <laughs> so right after our Facebook Live, we went to urgent care and that took quite a long time to get through. Um, but it turns out my sweet little girl had not a cold sore, but impetigo, which is, um, it. she had a big thing right here on her lip. And it's like, I guess it kind of looked like a cold sore, except it was gross. And, um, not that cold sores aren't, but this was particularly gross. <laughs> anyway, um, I do believe, though, she attracted it from kissing. I can't say it very loud because I don't want her to know I'm talking about it. She's not here, but she's a kid, so she knows. She knows things. Anyway, she's doing much better after some antibiotics, <laughs> ointment, <laughs> and all of that. But, um, oh my gosh. So... We got that crisis taken care of, and then um, my husband was gone, because of course, none of this stuff ever happens when he's here. He was out of town all week for work last week, and then my son and I, my son is so sweet, he's been trying very hard to skip a grade of math, and he just got the notice that he gets to skip um, seventh grade math and go into eighth grade honors math next year as a seventh grader. So he's so excited. So we celebrated with a crazy little road trip last week. Um, I picked him up from school and we drove to Des Moines and we had dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. So basically we dro drove two hours for cheesecake. And I would say that I'm not proud, but I kind of am. It was awesome. So we needed to have a little adventure for... Um, for his, well, commemorating the fact that it was just the two of us. Because, uh, oh, well, and also last week, Ella left for her um, robotics competition. And we'll talk about that more in just a second. But um, he was so excited that we would have a mom and son adventure. So it was really fun. We had a good time. And um, it it was a long day, but it was it was time well spent, so that was kind of fun. And then my daughter left Wednesday for uh, a robotics competition in um, tropical Grand Forks, North Dakota, a scant eight hours from here. <laughs> so she was gone for part of the week last week, so it was a little quiet around the house. It was kind of interesting. Um, and she was so excited because her team got a wild card berth into 
Worlds, which is also going to be held in the most exotic of locations, Detroit. And uh, she is just so excited. They've been working really hard and she's really kind of taken more of a leadership role this year on the team. So she's so excited. So it was really fun. We were watching some of her matches on, you can watch it online, like in real time, which was really fun. And they were very, very excited about getting um, a birth into Worlds. And they actually have another regional competition that they are hosting in a couple of weeks. So that should be fun. Um, so I said I wanted to go, but I don't want to drive to uh, Detroit. I haven't looked to see how far that actually is from here, but I'm thinking it's going to be a long way, and I'm pretty sure that I could fly. I'm just saying. <laughs> so anyway, um, well, Kayla, thank you for saying my kids are awesome. Does it help to know that my kid also punched out a girl at school last week because they're not perfect just just so we're clear I know it's easy to paint quite a picture online of reality and they're wonderful kids but yeah that happened too so what do you do you take the good with the bad I guess anyway um I am <laughs> I am proud of them and to be honest I think the girl kind of deserved it but we did have a long conversation about how you just don't ever hit people so there you go. Oh, Melania, you're so sweet. I think a lot of it comes from their father. He's scary smart, like scary, like scary smart. I do, however, bring the delightfulness and the good interpersonal relationships to the table. I'm not stupid, but my husband is scary smart, like scary book smart. He's also not super street. Anyway, he would tell you the same thing. <laughs> Diane can attest to it. She's on here. So everybody, you have to send some good prayer vibes to my Diane. She is recovering from being very sick in the hospital last week, and we want her to get well because I need her to come back. <laughs> I actually have to tell you guys, I sort of lost all of my assistants in the last three weeks. I had three pretty regular assistants, Diane and my friend Kelly and Bonnie. And then uh, Shelly helps me once a week as well. And I've lost all of them but Shelly. And Shelly helps, Shelly like works for full time. So um, that's just been a little stressful. And so we definitely are going to send Diane lots of healing vibes because we want her to get better. I know she's not feeling good about being gone and bless her heart. She's so worried, but I am surviving, Diane. I'm making it and I just want you to get better because I don't want you to be sick. That's no fun, but it's a good day to be at home and sick right now. Let me tell you because it's really horrible out. I'm trying to see if I can see. It's, um, it has really done all kinds of crazy stuff so far today here. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well and had a great weekend. I did actually get some time to just stamp in my office. It was kind of lovely. Um, we had the whole day Saturday where no one was here, just me and my husband. So we had a lovely breakfast together and then we each did our own thing and then we had a lovely dinner together and then we waited for our kids to come home. Carl got home at 10. Ella got home at 4 a.m. I didn't sleep very well. So at any rate, um, it is just wonderful to be with you guys. I've got some great projects to share with you today, including the barn door and I'm really ha happy with how my card came out and I've got some great tips for you. I also have a new online class. I was just finishing up posting it. Um, I didn't quite hit the send button, um, but I am getting ready to post a another two new online classes. So uh, if you are not on my newsletter, make sure you join. And if you're not on my um, website. It'll be on my website. If you're not on the website, check it out. I put a link in the little description of today's video. And I know I'm behind in getting these posted to my blog, but um, like, like I said, my husband was gone. And my kid was sick. My other kid was whatever. <laughs> we had 
a lot going on last week, so I know I'm behind. I have everything at sitting by my computer, so I will try and get it uh, up as soon as possible. So thank you, by the way. Um, no, Judy, that is what I need to post. That's one of the posts I have coming up is my new stamp room. And actually, it's um, it's still pretty tidy. I did a couple of reorganization things this last week. I shuffled a few things around, just like changing drawers and stuff. Um, and then I tried something over here in the corner, and that went horribly wrong, so I, I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a process. It takes time. So, um, I am, I'm really happy with the room and I find that people enjoy hanging out in here. So that's a lot of fun. Um, so I like that, but, um, oh, another update. I was planning on having, um, my all day, uh, winter camp um, this coming weekend, but with my loss of assistant help, I really cannot do that without help. So I'm going to redo it, um, probably for next month, reschedule it. I have been collecting projects, but I'm going to have the registration end by the end of this month because then we can still get in on celebration. Cause actually I do have celebration plans and that way your kit will include some extras in it. So that's always nice. Um, so watch for that. Uh, I am still trying to decide on the date and a lot of that kind of just depends on huh, my help. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are ready to stamp because I think I am. I think I've got some stuff to share. Oh, and the, <laughs> as I am reaching down for my stuff to share, I'm realizing that I have not done drawings for this week, and I'm so sorry about that. We'll get the drawings up here next week as soon as I can. Did you guys see this? This was on my blog today. I still uh, haven't gotten the video up yet but it will be there shortly. Gosh, my, sorry, my camera's all, look away for a second. <laughs> I'm trying to get my camera lined up so it only looks nice. <laughs> there, we're pretty good. Okay, I might take my, I've been freezing and now I think I finally warmed up with my blanket and my scarf and everything. I had, I was all dressed up cute for my little luncheon out and then I got home and I put my, um, I put my, Nice warm sweatshirt. I did not forget lipstick. I promise you it's on. You just missed it. We did that first thing. Okay. So I've got... I've got a couple of cards that came in the mail this last week. This There will be a video for this one on my blog um, probably later today. I got a couple of super duper cute cards in the mail today. This was a Thanksgiving... Or Thanksgiving... <laughs> St. Patrick's Day card from um, Jolene. Bless her heart. She was so sweet. And I love it. How fun is this? So this has those little glitter flakes in here as a shaker card. And then she had put some, um, there's these look like little leprechaun um, and shamrock glitter, you know, confetti stuff. So I thought that was adorable. Very cute. So thank you so much, Jolene. I love this card. It was very fun to receive. And then I also got this beautiful card. I think this was from Karen. No, oh, Marsha. Oh my gosh. So sorry. Marsha. Bless her heart. And actually, I think I had this last week, but it was in my purse, so I missed it. I, uh, forgetting it in the video. But look at how cute this card is. And I love the idea behind it. She just put some strips of paper um, across a piece of white cardstock and then stamped over it. How brilliant is that? So way to go, Marsha. I think I'm going to have to case this. It's so cute. So I really appreciate that beautiful card, both of these beautiful cards. Thank you guys so much for sharing your cards with me. I love, love getting cards in the mail. It's so much fun. Okay, so I will start first with my, um, with my barn door card. So look at how cute this is. Oh, and it's really easy. That's my favorite part, of course. I've got this cute little sliding mechanism, and I've got some really awesome tips for this that you guys are going to like, I think. And so I think it's pretty fun. So it says, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more. And then when you slide it across, it says, and nothing but happiness come through your door. So I think this is a really great card 
for a wedding or for a new neighbor or a new house for somebody that you know. And of course you can um, switch up the sentiments that you have behind here. You can put whatever you want, um, maybe an image on one side, the sentiment on another or vice versa, whatever. You can do whatever you want with this. It's so dang cute. So let me show you how this came together. It's pretty easy actually, but there are a few little tr tips and tricks and tidbits snippets of things that I have to share with you. So first of all, um, I'm going to let's get my stack of stuff here. Um, I'm going to show you the stamp set. What I like about the set is it's really, it's, I don't want to say basic, but it's, it's kind of simple so that you can really create lots of different things with it. It's not kind of stuck with one type of card, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm so happy to know you. Isn't that sweet? And there's a little hello door hanger that you can put on the door. There's um, two different types of wreaths. It will work for Christmas. It will work for, like I said, wedding or a new home. Lots of different things. Now the other thing that's really cool is that the set of framelits that coordinate with it, they cut out the wreaths, and there's a third one, and then there's this kind of flowery one. Um, and then there's flowers. There's a die to cut out the flowers on this wreath as one piece or three different pieces. So you have three sized flowers plus the bundle of three together, which is really cool. There's a piece that cuts out this wreath and this wreath and this bow separately. And then of course this frame. So there's so many pieces in here that do all kinds of really fun, which I think really adds to the versatility of this, um, of this set so that is fantastic now I'm also going to show you another thing you can do with the pieces that come in here so let me show you my tips okay so first of all I did a little research on this because I will be honest I was I don't want to say intimidated by this because I wasn't intimidated but I wasn't sure how this was going to work so um, I did do a little bit of research and collect I've been actually collecting some tips on this for a couple weeks before I tackled it and then I finally saw um, I finally decided I needed to get into it and I know several of you have asked for this just looking for my bone folder. Uh, several of you have asked me for this, so I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing before I started teaching you. And I think that is so fun be or funny because <laughs> at my downline meeting last month, I uh, I saw um, a technique with brusho. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, we should do this at our meeting. But I didn't have time to actually try it out before the meeting. So I'm sitting there and it did not go quite as planned. So that was sort of funny. I'm not going to lie. It was actually horrible. I thought it was hilarious. Um, although I was kind of embarrassed. And my team was so sweet. They were like, oh, no, it's great, Dina. Good job. And I'm like, oh, dear. It's like the blind leading the I don't know what. I'm the blind, though, in this scenario, but I don't think they were, but I was. Okay, so now I'm going to take my barn door, and um, that just sounds funny right there. I'm going to take my barn door, and I'm going to stamp it in um, soft suede ink onto crumb cake cardstock, and then there is a piece that will die cut this. Okay, so let me show you something else. I have another tip for you. Um, if you watch my blog regularly, you probably saw a few weeks ago I did a Friday quickie where I showed you how to save your Big Shot plates from warping. So what I have found is when I'm die cutting something such as this and I need to center the die onto my stamped image, I'm going to take either washi tape. I was just, I keep some washi tape right next to my big shot. So I'm either going to take washi tape or um, post-it notes and I'm going to kind of tack this in place. And notice I am actually attaching it to the whole plate itself. That way it's stuck in place so that when I flip this over and die cut it upside down as I suggested, it keeps that bottom plate, you know, that's under here in my 
example here. It keeps that bottom plate clean. Um, so I've kept it in place. This is how I hold it so it doesn't move around on me. Likewise, um, I'm going to do the same thing with the hardware pieces. So as you can see on here, I've got two of these hanger roller things, the bar that the barn door is sliding on, as well as the handle. So all of those pieces I'm going to die cut as well, and I'm just going to adhere them to my cardstock. Now I took some black cardstock and I lined it with our adhesive, uh, multi-purpose adhesive sheets. So this is like making it a sticker with the backing. So the backing's on there right now. And I'm going to place the big bar on here along with those two pieces of hardware the rollers as well as the handle so all of these pieces I'm putting on here as well and sometimes I find it's a little easier to use a post-it for these all these little pieces so I'll just put a post-it on here and one on here because these don't have to be centered on any stamped images and then I can take this whole thing okay and here's my big shot platform with my nice mostly unused pl plate my thin die adapter my platform and then I'm gonna just put these together and then run it through okay now when I do that um, I get my pieces. Oh, look at these ones. They're already done. I love it. So there is my barn door. And note that the barn door can either open from this side or from this side. It doesn't matter. Whichever way you want it to, to go. I also have the rail or whatever you call that. And then I've got my little hardware pieces. Um all right here so that is awesome okay now what makes this barn door slide is this sliding mechanism we're going to take and die cut that this is a single die cut piece which is kind of awesome um, so I just die cut this centered on my panel of cardstock so this is blushing bride and then boom it's lit a little track for each of these. Now, I've seen some people using washers. If you use a number six washer, those work. You can also use pennies. But what I found when using those is, A, you have to go to the store and get them. B, they add quite a bit of weight and thickness to your final card. And C, I don't want to. So to get past that, what I'm going to do is take and create my own little sliding mechanism. And I'm going to use a window sheet for this. Now I, um, I did one connected piece and it might not matter if your piece is connected, like you could do it with a couple of little strips as well, but I, I wanted the one piece connected. For some reason, I thought it would work best if that's how it was. So I just cut this to be a little skinnier than my four inch wide paper. And it's two, let's see, I wrote this down. Here we go. My window sheet is two and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And of course, I'll post all this on my blog. Um, and so what this is going to do is be my mechanism for the slider without the bulk of those pennies or those washers. And I think it's a lot easier because I have window sheet. You probably could use cardstock too, but I like the window sheet because it's clear and it won't show up really. And then the other thing you need are your foam adhesive strips for making shaker cards. If you haven't had enough reason to get these yet, you have to get them because they're so awesome. I use them on all kinds of things, but especially shaker cards, of course. And so here's how we're going to do this. We've got our window sheet in here and I can't see it sticking out on the top or the bottom so I know we're good and then what I'm going to do is take a section of my window sheet and I'm just grabbing my scissors and I want to cut a length approximately this big so that it's the right length to fit in here 
And by the way, this is just a little bit narrower than the door itself. That's how I came up with that measurement. So what I'm gonna do is put my, uh, put my little adhesive strip right up as close to the edge in here, and I'm gonna put it as close to the center edge. That way it can't like wiggle and bounce around too much. This will all make sense in a minute. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that again up here, making sure, again, that I can't see my window sheet on either side, it's, it is, it fits below. Now, on the back side, it's so easy to see all this, but what I noticed on this one was that it it's hanging a little crooked sometimes. Now, I pushed it so it's all nice and straight, but sometimes it kinda hangs a little crooked. You kinda have to make it that way. But when you have it, fit in there a little tighter, then it won't do that. Okay. All right. Now we haven't adhered anything yet, so we're still good. Um, before I adhere anything, so I'm just going to leave these on right for, for the moment. I also want a piece of cardstock that's going to fit underneath here. And I actually measured that to be three and three quarters by two and a quarter. And I'm pretty sure that that is the one piece I did not cut. So give me one second while I quick cut that size three and three quarters by two and a half. Oh, I'm just gonna roll my sheet, my chair. What did I say? Three and three quarters by two and a half. Okay. And we are rolling back. Now this piece is what fits under here. And to measure that piece, I actually went back to my die cut shape and I just measured what the inside of what I cut was so that I would know how big this should be. Okay, now I'm not gonna adhere this quite yet, but we are ready to put our door on. So I'm gonna take these off and then I'm gonna position my door and I just really want to make sure that it's covering the track and that it's on there relatively straight. And then when it slides, it slides like a dream. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so that's cool. Next, I'm going to take, and remember my beautiful hardware pieces that are so awesomely stickered? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put those on and to do that, I'm just peeling off the backing. Uh, because of my stupid manicured nails, I can't pick anything up like I used to be able to. But uh, my little poker device can help me with all of that. Oh, look. It can pick up all kinds of stuff for me. And then uh, I'm just going to peel off the backing. Again, my poker helps that happen since my fingernails won't do it for me. By the way, I hate that because I used to be able, my my one friend told me I had nimble fingers. I used to be able to pick up anything and now I can't pick up a darn thing. It drives me crazy. Okay, so again, we'll just peel this little backing off. I think the real trick to this is having those um, multi-purpose adhesive sheets because it's so much easier when these are stickers. Now, originally, you'll laugh, Originally, when I made my sample card, I used liquid glue, and then I kicked myself afterwards because I was like, oh my gosh, I have adhesive sheets I should have used. So I think that's kind of funny. Um, okay, next, we've got our little door hanger, hanger, or handle, not handle, hanger, whatever. And by the way, Kelly, I saw your boopin' comment. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, okay. Just gonna stick this one on too. See how easy everything is when it's with a sticker and not, oh, so wonderful. Okay, so look at how awesome. It's already making me happy. <laughs> I love that. Okay, now on here, we're gonna attach this to our card, which is really simple. We're gonna use dimensionals in this case. I suppose we could use the adhesive strip things, but they are actually just a little thicker, you can see, than our dimensionals. Can you see that difference? Um, 
these are a little skinnier than these and I figured if we did not use them it would keep the thickness of our card down to a reasonable length or thickness or whatever you get what I'm saying um, so I'm just gonna put these on here like this you want to make sure that they're way over to the edge so they don't interfere with your plastic um, slider mechanism and then we'll just pop this up on the card. The reason we do want this up a little bit is so that it's not down too tight on the card so that that door can't freely move. Because of course you don't want somebody like accidentally inadvertently ripping their card when uh, they're trying to see what cuteness lies on the other side of this door. Okay, so then look at that. It goes so smooth, everybody's happy. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's how I get when I get excited about the cards I make. It's so awesome. Okay, so um, next we have this piece that we're going to place under here. And I'm going to move my door to kind of the center. Now when I do that, I can see that the, this piece of vanilla cardstock is lined up on either side. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it with my finger in place. Then I'm going to pull this all the way over to one side and grab my pencil and just put a little bit of a mark right there and then I'll do the same thing. I'm going to slide it all the way over on this side and put a little mark right there. Now what that does when I pull this out is it tells me this is the space that is uh, known as no man's land. Nothing will be seen. And did I have that all the way over? I just want to verify that. Mm, pretty close. Yeah, it's actually a little skinnier than that, but you get the idea. Okay, so that is the space within which I have to work. Okay, is this side and this side. So I want to know, or I want to make sure that whatever I stamp in there is going to be seen. Okay, now the sentiments that come in the set, of course, are designed to fit in there, but sometimes you might use things from other stamp sets that are cute and adorable and perfect. So um, that is kind of why you want to know that. So then you got to think about where you want the sentiments so that you stamp them on the correct side. So I know I want my may your troubles be less and your blessings be more be on one side. And then my other sentiment, which of course I don't see. Oh, here it is. I was cleaning up a little bit before I turn my video on and I want just making sure that I had room for everything and then nothing but your happiness come through your door oh so happy so we're gonna erase these two marks in just a second I want to let this dry now also I've decorated my barn door to include this door adorable wreath so I'm gonna take my wreath image and stamp it two times on a scrap of vanilla once I'm gonna stamp it in blushing bride because I want my bow to be blushing bride. And then another time I'm going to stamp it in pear pizzazz because I want the wreathy part to be green. Like so, okay? Now I'm gonna die cut both of these. One, I'm gonna die cut the wreath image and then the other I'm gonna die cut just the bow. And when I do that, Oh, look, this is what I get. Oh, so awesome. Okay. Now, Debbie, I see you have a question here. Let me look. Oops. Okay, I'm wondering why the top of the brackets are not sticking to the black bar on top since they have adhesive on back. I will tell you why that is, Debbie. Because there is space in between here because this is sitting on that layer of adhesive strip right there and so they just won't touch I suppose if you pushed on them hard they would but then they they're not sticking I'm I'm not seeing it as it be, uh, I'm not seeing it being an issue and there's also not a huge amount of adhesive back here there's enough to hold this on in place but there's all these holes in this bracket so there's not enough for it to really grip onto so I think um, I think you'll be good either way Okay, so now this has had a chance to dry, so let us erase our little pencil lines just so nobody sees them. And then we'll also go ahead and take 
and put some adhesive on our bow so that it sticks to our cute little wreath perfectly. And then I will glue the whole wreath to our door. Okay, what did I do with my card? Here it is. <laughs> do you ever lose stuff in your office or your stamping space? Because I do it like a hundred times a day. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So we've got everything slides, nothing sticks that we don't want to stick, and everybody's happy. All we have to do now is place this piece of cardstock in here. Now, uh, let me talk about adhesive for just a second. Um, does it cost more to mail this? No, it does not. This will mail just the same. Um, so Stampin' Up! had our Fast Fuse promotion, and in conjunction with that, they did mention that Fast Fuse was going to be discontinued with the new catalog in June. And um, I think um, a lot of you are wondering why that is, and I cannot speak to that. I don't know for sure the reason. Um, a lot of things play into why those decisions are made. Some of it is whether or not a manufacturer can make it for us or if they can have a good manufacturer. Some things are how well it sells. Other things are if it's been around a long time and it's just kind of petered off in the sales. And I know... Um, Actually, the reason they had the sale originally way back in the fall was because there was so much of it sitting around. So I'm sure it's a combination of those things. But again, I don't know why they've decided to do this. But they did tell us it will be discontinued. So a lot of people have been asking me, what kind of adhesive do you use? Well, before Fast Fuse came along, I used liquid glue for everything. I liked it because it was inexpensive, and when I was running classes, it was very cost-effective for me to run classes with this adhesive. And I also liked it because when you glued something down, it stuck for good. Oh my gosh. It was really good stuff. So the other thing that I like about it, and it kind of, this sort of reminded me of this recently because somebody was telling me they like Fast Fuse, but it's so sticky that there's not a lot of wiggle room. If you stick it down in the wrong place, you kind of are committed. And that is very true. So I've just put some liquid glue on here. And this is kind of the perfect example. I'm sliding this on my card here, but I want to make sure that I get it positioned in exactly the right spot. And my liquid glue does give me a little wiggle room so I can kind of move things around. And then when I press, now I'm committed. So it doesn't set up immediately the way Fast Fuse does. So I think that's really helpful for um, replacing Fast Fuse is to know that liquid glue is a great substitute. Now, some people don't like liquid glue because you get sticky fingers. I will tell you that when I use my liquid glue, I don't get sticky fingers, and I think the biggest reason is because I don't use gobs of it. I use a skinny little strip, as you saw, and it does not um, it does not ooze out on me. If you're getting glue on your fingers a lot, you're probably using more than you need. Um, I can make a hundred several layered cards easily with one bottle of this liquid glue. So it is very cost effective. So I do like that. Okay, so there you go, guys. There is my super duper cute sliding barn door card. I love it. So I'm really, really excited to... Um, to play with this a little bit more. This is just my first take and I already have ideas of things that I want to peek behind this barn door. So the first thing that popped in my head was actually, um, well, actually I'm not going to tell you because I think I'm going to make it for my blog tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you, but I have all kinds of fun ideas for what is going to be behind this sliding door. So I hope that you like the idea of that. And I hope you like this card and I hope you like the tips that I had for it because I think they are kind of awesome to be completely honest. So it really is pretty easy once you get a couple of the basics down in how to do that slider mechanism and without all of the washers and pennies and all of that heavy um, thick, bulky hardware. So anyway, there you go. Yes, Tracy Piggies. That actually, it was one of the ones I had, but that's not what I had in mind for tomorrow. So you have to check back. Okay. All right. Now I have my next card I'm really excited about because 
This is a card I came, I, play, I was playing around with this weekend and I just loved how it came out. And what I loved even more about it is that I have both a um, feminine version and a more masculine version. I don't mean that as in they couldn't be one or the other, but um, you know, colors make a huge difference in things. So let me show you this card. First of all, this uses the picture perfect stamp set. Um, and it is a really fun stamp set. Sorry, I just dropped an ink pad. Um, it's a really fun ink stamp set that was on my desk and is not now. Seriously, I've been playing with it all weekend long. Oh, <laughs> it's under. Oh, you guys are going to laugh. I have all my stamps sitting on top of it. That's why I couldn't see it. Here it is. <laughs> so this picture perfect stamp set is one I've been dying to really get into and play with. I know a couple weeks ago we used the bow stamp to make a fun card. Um, and I really wanted to play around with these candles. And I also played around with the little blow thing. Um, but I just love this so Fun, the stamp set and lots of versatility so let's make a really cute card and then we're gonna make the same card again in different colors and I think you're gonna like it okay so I've got a flirty flamingo card base that I'm starting with here so bright happy colors and then I've got a peekaboo peach layer which we're gonna use but we're gonna stamp on our whisper white and I've got a wonderful combination of things. Now, one of the things I noticed, uh, I'm sorry, wonderful combination of colors. One of the things I noticed when I was playing with this is that it was so much easier. Let's see, now I even have them in order. I'm going to get the rest of these. I'm going to get my barn stamps out of the way. Um, one of the things I noticed when I was playing with these is that it was so easy to line up these candles if you stamped the detail stuff first and the candle second and you'll get what I mean in just a second here I'm gonna open up all my colors so I've got flirty flamingo peekaboo peach daffodil delight lemon lime twist and Bermuda Bay for a fun 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 color combination I'm also going to use some black for my sentiment. So I'm going to start with my sentiment. So I've just got some black ink right here. And then I'm going to stamp that right there. So it says, today we celebrate wonderful, brilliant, fabulous you, which is, of course, is perfect. And then I'm also going to grab... One more piece of white. This will be for the inside of our card, and you'll see what I why I have this out in just a moment. Okay, next, what I'm going to do is I want to stamp um, the candles with polka dots or stripes, because I think that's fun. And you can see there's the plain one, the polka dot, or the stripe one. Oh my gosh, the polka dot one or the stripe one. And so I'm just going to kind of alternate which one I use. But I'm going to start by stamping those dots. And in this case, I'm going to go with Bermuda Bay as my first color. So I'll do my dots in full strength right here. And then I'm going to do it once more on the inside piece of cardstock. This will go inside my card. Okay. Then I'm going to ink up the solid candle. And I'm going to stamp off a layer of ink. And then it's so easy to line up when you've got those solid dots to line up first. So I like that. Okay. Again, I'll stamp that off and line it up. I didn't even have to stick my butt out that far to get this to work. So that is awesome. Okay. Next, I'm going to... clean this off quick and then start with my next color which is going to be lemon lime twist except we're going to use stripes because we're alternating so I'll do my lemon lime twist full strength and then I'll do my solid one stamped off so easy 
I was having a heck of a time doing it the other way around where I would stamp off the first one and then try to do the full strength ones over the top. It was not working and it was making me mad and I don't like, I don't like being mad when I'm stamping. I should be happy when I'm stamping, right? Okay, so I'll clean all of these off and then we'll do our next one, which is polka dots and Daffodil Delight, which will just stamp on here. So cute. Stamp off. Boom. Stamp off. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of the song, The Clapper. Clap on, clap off, The Clapper. Do you guys remember that? Sorry if you think I'm goofy. I think of really random things when I'm talking out loud and stamping at the same time. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, and next we want Peekaboo Peach Stripes. I promise there is a method to my madness. Peekaboo Peach Stripes. And then I'm actually going to do the next one also, which is um, Flirty Flamingo Dots. We'll do Flirty Flamingo over here. And we're going to do Flirty Flamingo right here because i got a couple more spots I need. And then I've got the spacing down for another Peekaboo Peach Striped Candle right there. Okay, now I'm going to come back in with my stamped off ones. So we'll do that one there. This one here. And, oh, I already did that one. This one here. There we go. And then clean, quick, flirty flamingo. Now I love, this is kind of a rainbow um, color combination and you can use whatever color combination you want. This is sort of a soft, subtle color combo, um, but you could do brighter, darker, more traditional rainbow colors, whatever you want. Uh, and then next I'm going to put little what do you call these? Flame, candle flames on top of each of these candles. As well as these ones. So easy. Okay. Next, to finish this up, we'll of course mount this onto our card base which is easy peasy. I should say I've got a layer of cardstock here first. And then I brought out my Peekaboo Peach Striped Grow Green, Green Ribbon, which is perfect for this. It's such cute, happy ribbon. So I'm gonna just snip that and adhere this to my card with just a knot like so and then we'll pop this up onto our card now this card is so cute and easy but if we wanted to use it for a more masculine card all we have to do is change the colors so let me put this together and then I'll show you how we can make the same card with different colors okay and I have to tell you so here's the other thing so here is the inside of my card and we're gonna stamp happiest of birthdays to you right over the top of these five little candles in black so again this is the inside of my card and when I did this I was like oh my gosh that right there is so sink and cute so what we're gonna change up our card a little bit and have this be on the outside for our masculine one. Okay, so there's the inside and here's the outside. So cute, oh my gosh. So next, let's do the more masculine color scheme. All right, now for this one, I've got 
crumb cake dapper denim old olive and cajun craze so these are kind of earthier colors which to me are a little bit more masculine though of course they could definitely be more feminine depending on what you wanted to do so let me get these ink colors out of the way quick and then we'll do the same thing um but we'll change up our card just a little bit and then you kind of have two for one okay so first of all the thing that's driving me crazy is I know I cut the cardstock for this but I can't see it it's not with the card like it normally is so I'm not sure what I did with it but it's okay I'm gonna make it work but seriously what did I do with that Urgh! I hate when that happens because I actually went to the trouble of cutting all of this before my video Um, oh my gosh, I just got a text message from my daughter. I'm driving home, just wanted to let you know in case I die, love you. Isn't that lovely? Thanks, Ella, that doesn't make me worry at all. It's all good, sweetheart. No problem. <laughs> Kids. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, here's my card stack. Dang, I knew I had it. Here we go. <sighs> Kids, they seemed like a good idea at the time. All right. <laughs> So for this card, uh, what I'm going to do is take and stamp my candles very much in the same manner. Let me quick clean these off. I'm so happy that I was able to get that text message. That does make me feel so much better about my daughter driving in these crappy conditions. <sighs> okay. <laughs> So I've got my cardstock again. <laughs> this time I'm going to stamp my candles with my different color scheme. Lordy, what are these kids thinking? Okay, um, so I have got, I'm going to start with my lightest color here, which is crumb cake. Oh, and I did my own advice wrong. I was supposed to stamp the solid first, the full strength. We'll do that next. Okay. I'm kind of having them not exactly, you know, lined up quite right. Just because I think that looks kind of fun. Okay. And then we have got some olive. Oops, that one was a little bit more off than I had intended, but it's all good. One thing I will say as I'm showing you how things don't always come out exactly right, that's kind of why I like sharing this with you is because I want you to know that when you mess up, it's not the end of the world. And if you are, whether you're at a class, making cards or you are trying to copy something you saw or you're just coming up with your own, nobody knows what it is you're trying to accomplish. So if you don't make it exactly the way you intended it to be, it's okay. Don't get frustrated. I see a lot of people get frustrated. Just have fun with it. That's the whole point anyway, is to have fun with your stamping. Okay. And then I'm feeling like we need one more color in here. So what if I brought in soft sky for a nice a light blue? I think that'll be cute, actually. Okay. Now, of course, the biggest part of this was just cleaning off the stamp in between. Ugh. But I think that looks awesome. Okay, so there we have our little candles. And then we'll do our flame. Just gotta find my ink and daffodil on top of each of these. And then at this point, we can either choose to use black ink or maybe even brown ink to stamp the sentiment. It, it is kind of whichever one we like. And I'm thinking instead of 
the sentiment we use. What if we change it up a little? It's always fun. So we've got celebrate the good stuff or cue the confetti. I kind of like cue the confetti. Although celebrate the good stuff would work as well. Hard to say. Cue the confetti. You guys think brown or black? Mm, I'm still kind of feeling black. I want it nice and solid. Okay, so cue the confetti is on there, and then I'm going to adhere this to my card base. Like so. And then I also have, I just happen to have some, ooh, it's a virgin roll of ribbon that I can tie some ribbon around here. 